In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. men who are in the senator positions in Idaho or whatever asking them for help. For me, get in the orchestra, at least get in the, you know, last chair Stafford or something, knowing that I make a lot of mistakes. But anyway, um, I just kind of don't expect them to even write back or even acknowledge me. I know that sounds horrible, but I've just kind of come accustomed to getting so rejected. And it's almost like being an aborted child itself. I mean, there's just no respect for people unless you're handing them uh, a relationship or dollar bills and just bending over backwards doing whatever they say. They'll just basically, uh, you know, they'll exercise whatever power they have to just expunge you out of, their, out of the life of the, the town, you know? But we're still obligated to pray for them, you know? We have to at least have some hope. Because if we don't have any hope about the world, it really does become a dismal place, doesn't it? get out of jail here. And it's just so depressing. Or it's like me, I'll never get out of Post Falls, you know. It's just so cold and it's just depressing. You know, I'll never make it to Arizona or where California or wherever I'm trying to go. Texas. You know, kind of gave up on Texas. But uh the hope we have to hope that those you know that those maybe Catholics in name only senators and representatives will actually become Catholics in name always you know we have to have that hope or those prayers because if we don't it's such a dark dark world nowadays and it's almost you almost can't even get out of bed if you have, if you embrace that hopelessness of seeing that people aren't going to change the world's going down south you know I think it's also a spiritual laziness too that can develop or sloth out of that where you just don't, you kind of get uh, to the point where you just don't do anything because what's the use? You know, what's the use? And that's just a horrible, horrible place to be, you know? change the world. You can't do anything. You know, look at you. You're just so small. People reject you. And that's such a horrible th 
place to be. To think that soul that God planned on earth has no meaning. That's just a horrible place. Of course you have meaning in the world. And of course you have meaning to do good in the world. Of course you deserve to be at church. You know what I mean? Maybe men prevent that. But God will never reject you. He never will. pray over him when he lost his collar because of the shock that it caused him and the priests and the bishops weren't the ones to hold his hand and guide him through it was the protestants and i remember when i lost asher i was so upset and these protestants got in a circle and put their hands on me and prayed over me so many times the catholics never did that they were the ones ready to steal they're the ones stealing you know and it's sick but you know the seer and Emmerich, I forget her name, Catherine Ann Emmerich, she said there will come a time when the Protestants will have more truth and justice in their hearts than the Catholics. That doesn't mean we need to throw away our Catholicism and start avoiding, you know, if you're a Catholic, you have to stay in the church. And if you're Protestant, you should become Catholic. But she was making that discernment of what was going to happen in later days. a Protestant calling out more evil than the Catholic bishops. That's what you have now. It's, it's crazy, and he's probably a Freemason, you know? Although I don't know how active he is in the Freemason society, <laughs> but that doesn't still it makes it wrong, you know? trying to investigate who is a Freemason in the church, calling it out. It's a huge, huge problem nowadays, the modernism. It's the, the silence of the good priest calling out that Freemasonry in the church. You know, Father Frank Pavone, he really needs to start doing that. All those canceled priests, they need to start researching and finding out and calling it out because Freemasonry is opposite of the Catholic church. It's condemned. power so they join these clubs thinking that they're going to have some sort of power and it's just not that is not power or that is not manhood people i know when adam joined the freemasons he could have been less of a man he instantly filed for divorce and took a, a nursing child away from his mother i mean that was sick that's not manhood that's wimpy cowardice <laughs> place right next to a psychology place in downtown Spokane and the three are kind of kind of together you know where you have Freemasonry you have those psychology places where they try to mess with you and it's interesting because the Hymas family they're all claim to be psychologists but that's just another way to be they just try to do it's just a power control game because remember God is the healer he mostly gets through the sacraments that's why baptism is so important. It's so important for them to reject Freemasonry, this Heifetz family, and convert, be baptized, get the real power of God, and go to heaven.
we were more united, being families, I don't think these priests would be able to get away with everything they're getting away with. They wouldn't be able to get away with all these fake enrollments and stuff. If families stood strong together, these priests are falling fast into Freemasonry under the guise of Roman Catholicism. down the middle of your bow and you're really not. You stay up with the frog.
pain. Like, if I had the strength to do this, or if someone could set it up for me, I would. I'd probably have to wear a bulletproof vest, you know. Or just, you know, resign myself. Okay, well. Thank <laughs> you. 